Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf. We hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Andy, it's the Impact Show on a Monday. What are we talking about today? Right, today we're going to give you three tips to help transform your long game and all you're going to need is your alignment sticks. Let's take charge of your game. So you may have noticed we're starting to wear the warm weather gear now. So Andy, it's starting to get a little bit cooler here in the UK. That means we're obviously approaching the off season. So this is a perfect time for you guys to evaluate how good your year has been. Andy, has yours been good? Not as good as I'd like, Piers. I haven't as played as, well. as much golf as I'd like. Practice but Next more. year, actually through the winter, I'm going to practice more and start the season better next year. I think you should. I think you should. Definite. So you can evaluate how's your season gone and maybe about what you want to do next year as well. So this is a real good time to evaluate what goals you want for next year, what you want to improve with your game. So get involved by posting comments down below. Let's see if we can help you with your winter work this year. And also, you need to make sure you go to meandmygolf.com and check out the website. We've got lots of things going on with off season next month, and it's obviously going to help you throughout the winter. And speaking of the website, got to plug it. Speaking of the website, uh, Simple Secrets to Lower Scores is now fully live, so all five parts are on there. Go and take advantage, check it out for free, no obligation, you can cancel your membership after 30 days. We know it will help you. There's a lot of information gone in there, yeah. which we've helped obviously develop over the last 20 years of coaching. Now, Andy, the current theme for the website is all about long game. Yep. So you said in the intro there we were going to talk about using these alignment sticks, giving three tips to actually help improve your long game. Now, I think the good thing with these alignment sticks, you can get them anywhere, can't you? And they are very, very valuable for lots of different drills. But we've got some three pretty, three pretty good ones here today, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So, I mean, look, you know, it's, it's great to have some tools to actually use as feedback. Yeah. And these alignment sticks work really well. We've just got hold of these new alignment pros, which are very good because they've got some hinges on, which makes it really a diverse piece. You can yes. use them for so many different things. So we're going to show you how we're going to use these to really give you three really good drills to practice on, and probably the most common things that we see amongst golfers why they struggle with their long game. And we're going to start with the backswing. Good word there, diverse by the way. Okay, so we're going with the backswing, what have we got then? Okay, so first thing is, look, we're going to talk about the sway. Now the sway in the backswing pierce is where the lower body moves excessively away from the target. Now the problem is with the sway, it really makes it very difficult to um, to maximise the potential power in the yep. golf swing, because the lower body is working, we don't really create this wind up. But also, we struggle to get the golf club swinging in a good direction. We often see when somebody sways, the club tends to want to swing over the top mm -hmm. and too much towards the left. So if we can have a good wind up into the, the trail hip in the backswing, not only is it going to give you more power, it's also going to give you more consistency because you're going to swing the golf club on a much better arc around the body. So that's the first thing we're going to talk about. So with this here, with the Alignment Pro here, I'm just going to literally place it. If you're on grass practice area, you can place it. With the hinge here, you can see it's just in the ground, just outside my trail thigh. The now, one you, thing, sorry Andy, if you're on the driving range, just put it through a, a range basket. And exactly, I'll do it yeah. as well. So the idea of this, look, is it's feedback. If you are somebody who sways in the back, so which we see it so much, Pierce, you're going to swing back and you're going to feel yourself brush against this mm. stick. So the job here is to really keep the trail leg in position. Now, we don't mind as you swing back. We're not saying that the right leg can't move because that would limit the ability mm -hmm. to turn. We want to rotate into this hip, but you can see there, there's no sway pierce. No. You can really feel now I've built up the pressure in this trail leg. And one thing that I think some people get confused with is what the right knee should be doing. You'll notice when I'm doing this, it's okay for the right knee to lose a little bit of flex. Yeah. It's going to encourage that rotation into the hip. Again, here I'm really loaded now. Club can swing more around the body and really I'm going to hit the, the, get the golf ball a little bit further out there, hopefully. So just to do that again, I think it's a very good, valid point there, talking about the right leg. You know, it is allowed to move and straighten. You know, there aren't really any golfers who keep the flex in that right leg. There is a little bit of straightening as you do it. So I'm interested to see you hit a shot. Okay. I wish I could put some electricity through that thing there and actually make it like a cattle Yeah, I'm drop. sure you would. I'm just going to put it back in place there to make it a little bit tougher for you. Right, 14th at the Asprey here. This is a perfect driving hole down the left. I'm just going to really work at that. And again, feel that wind up into that trail foot. See if I can get it down there, but a bit of power on this one, Pierce. Come on, then. Yeah, pretty good. Slightly down the left, but you know what? No sway whatsoever, and it really does give you that good base, as you say, to explode into that downswing. Right, my turn, yeah? Your turn. My turn. Pierce, one question we get asked all the time is how do we start the downswing with the lower body? Now, look, for, there's lots of different feelings that you can have. We know we want the lower body to start the downswing, but we've got a great drill that we use a lot that yes. really gets the the hips firing, doesn't it? We call yeah. this one the hip twister. The hip twister, of course. Okay, so alignment stick you can see through the belt loops, the majority of the stick is out to the lead side. So you'll see behind, 
here I have an alignment stick. Now you can put this in different places. At the moment, I've got it about six inches back of my lead heel and obviously pushed out at an angle. Now, the more I push the alignment stick back, obviously the more hip rotation I need. So if I actually connect the two sticks, I've probably got about 30 degrees of clearance, starting at zero, 30 degrees of clearance. So that's kind of the minimum for me that I would like. Anywhere between 30 and 50 would be ideal. Yeah. Now, the one thing you can do with this is, when, sorry, what you need to do when you do this is when you're hitting shots, your objective is to get the alignment sticks to collide before you strike the golf ball. Now, if you can do that, obviously, you're getting good clearance with those hips. But one thing we will say, a lot of people struggle to get good clearance and rotation with their pelvis and start the downswing with their pelvis and the low body because the club face is in an open position. So if the club face is in an open position, that's something you need to fix first. But this will, that's obviously other videos. We, this is purely about starting the downswing with the low body and getting those hips rotating. So what I would do for a lot of people recommend, Andy, is get into setup and just feel what it's like to move and get those alignment sticks to collide and then maybe swing back a little bit and then getting them colliding. So you're really working at firing those hips and open. you can see that separation, we talk about it, that disassociation piece where the lower body can rotate without really moving that upper body. And this is a key thing that a lot of golfers really want, but they struggle with this. If you're a slicer of the golf ball, it may not be the best <coughs> idea to me. actually do this first because it may encourage more of a slice. Yes. But as you mentioned, Pierce, we need to square the face. But it's certainly totally. a great feeling what the yeah. lower body and what the hips are doing. Yeah, it's just, I mean, even if you don't hit golf balls doing this, it's really just good practice to get the, the lower body moving. So, shall well, I hit one? Yeah, let's fire one down there. Let's see if you can do it. I, again, this is something great for me and you because we tend to get too much lateral yeah. instead of rotation. We could so. do with a little bit more, couldn't we? So, I've set it at 30 degrees, so it's not uh, on it's the limit there. a good challenge for you. Yeah, it's still a good challenge, though. It's still a good challenge. All right. Very nice. Oh, did I hit them? Yeah, hit that, that first. Good. That was good. You hit that. Yeah. Is that you good then? It over. Yes. Did you feel it? Yes, I did. Perfect. Okay, last one then. So Andy, third tip. Now, a lot of people will focus on where the golf ball finishes. Not often will people focus on where the ball starts and actually have some real thought about that. So we've got an alignment stick in the ground, directly on your target line. And what are your thoughts with this? Well, look, the key thing is here, as you mentioned, Pierce, not many people think about this. And I know when we've done it, when we've got some guys on the lesson tee, it really opens their eyes to where the ball starts. Massively. You know, and they're not thinking about that. And where the ball starts, really, is due to where this club face returns back to impact. And this is the most responsible thing for that start direction. So if we can have a bit more awareness, Pierce, of where yeah. it starts, we're going to start to understand where this is in the golf swing and yes. where it is ultimately at impact. And if somebody misses the target right and starts it right, okay. then look, they need to then look at starting the ball a little further left and changing what this club face is doing. It really gives you the feedback. So we're assuming that with a centered strike. Okay, yes. so with a centered strike, we are assuming that, the, that everything else that we talk about is around that. So, okay, so what are you gonna, are we gonna hit a couple of shots here and actually just test you out? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm to gonna go straight to the bunker. Yeah. And I'm gonna just be aware of where my golf ball is starting. Okay. And you might help me out here. I'm we, gonna help you out. We yes. normally have this a little bit further on the, uh, on the range, normally, let's say 10 to 15 yards. This is about six, seven yards. But I'm going to hit a shot here. I'm just going to have the awareness again of where the ball starts in relation to that stick. Oh, do you know what? It was very close for me to see, but I would say that was ever so slightly left. Obviously, I'm slightly offline there. What did you feel when you hit um, that one? Yeah, I think it was probably, I mean, that was a nice shot left side yeah, of the yeah. fairway. I would say it was close to it, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. or maybe slightly left, but yeah. close to slightly left. Okay, so if someone's hitting shots like this then and they are getting a ball, because that was a, a slightly left and then drawing left, okay? Yeah. So what would we be saying to someone there then if that ball is doing that? If it's going so, starting, so it's starting left. left and then going further left. Okay, well look, if it's starting left and going further left, then the face is slightly closed yes. to the path. But in this instance here, that was a pretty good shot. That's not too bad. We're not going to see many golfers struggle with that shot. Again, we normally see golfers struggle with the, the ball that starts right and then curves further right. So the great thing is if you do this, your focus then really isn't necessarily where the ball ends up. If you're starting the golf ball right and finishing right, you go, okay, what I'm gonna focus on doing now is trying to start the golf ball left of that. And that's really gonna change ultimately what this does. We wanna change the face, not necessarily the direction that you swing the golf club. That club could be changing the grip. It could be changing the move away, getting the face a little stronger but we know then the club face is open, yeah. don't we? This could be anywhere, the transition and into the downswing. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hit two more. Okay. I want you to start this one right, and I've got a surprise ball in my pocket. What, what, what do you want the ball fly to do? I want, well, I want, I want you to just do a different shot than what you've just hit there. Okay, so I'm gonna start, start, start it right, start then. It right. That's all I want you to do. And I'm gonna bend it back. Okay. That's, that's my job on this one, so a little bit of a draw on this one. Okay. But start direction a little bit further right. 
Perfect. And it's amazing when you put that stick in the ground, obviously Andy's a talented golfer, Thank you. but when you put that stick in the ground, it makes you very aware. It makes it quite easy for you then to start shaping the ball if that's something you want to do. Right, okay, last shot. You've got to hit the stick out the ground. Hit the stick so out the ground. So this is dead aim. And this is another thing that we'll do with people. Get them to be as precise as they can. Let's see if they can hit that stick out okay, the ground. Right One under go. pressure, I like this. If I do this, you've got to share the video because that would be good. He had right. no idea I was going to ask him to do that, by the way. To do this, I'm going to hit it a little bit lower as well. Ball back in the stance. Okay. That stick's going out, Pierce. Oh, that was close. Oh, it was a nice little fade up the middle of the fairway. I think it was pretty close, but definitely left. Again, I know that started left of the, of the stick there, but again, the awareness, the feedback, yep. it helps shape your practice sessions. You're going to have more awareness of what that face is doing. Okay, so three pretty simple drills make you more consistent. So we hope you've enjoyed the video. Now look, we have a passion for helping you guys get better. So Pierce, if they want to improve, where should they go? They should go to meandmygolf.com, Andy. Click on the link in the corner. We have just uploaded part five, the final part of Simple Secrets, the lowest score. You can watch the entire series for free. Go and check it out, click on the link, and we'll see you there.